Hey guys, Barry here, and welcome to your gaming station, Nintendo Act Gaming. And here we have a first look at Ohayu, Beginner's Japanese. Now, I'm sorry if I pronounced that, uh, that wrong, the Ohayu is either uh, Ohayu or Ohayu or something. Sorry. But yeah, a massive, massive thank you to Finger Gun Games. This game is out today on the Wii U eShop. Of course, it's out for European and the Americans. Uh, at five euro, I'm correct, and five dollars, perhaps, whatever it is. But yeah, it's out today. By the time you watch this, is out now, maybe. I don't know. But yeah. So uh, if the audio is a bit weird, sorry, it's it's an awkward setup for me anyway because. See, the thing is, there's audio that comes out of the TV and the gamepad, so I'm trying to get the you know everything synced into one, and I've. I've done something here with, with two different capture cards that, that are connected into each other and the audio seems to have worked fine but who knows what it's going to be like. It should be okay but excuse me that's my own fault. But yeah. So on the bottom screen you can't see it here. We have introduction, start learning and credits and of course we have a music button on the top left hand corner. So if we go to introduction, let's proceed. So it says, look on screen below. Oh, how you, uh, what is it, Gozimasu or something. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. My Japanese is going to be terrible. Welcome to Beginner's Japanese. My name is Zuka. I am Kenji. What does Oh, how you, uh, what is it, Oh, how you, Gozimasu mean? Uh, Goza, Gozimasu? It means good morning in Japanese. Oh, how you gozemezu, gozemezu. Try it on family and friends sometime. It's funny because there's actually loads of people at work who are Japanese. I might say it to them and see how they react, and, see, and probably look at me weird, like, huh? He knows Japanese. But yeah, uh, here you will learn the alphabet that makes up the Japanese language. By the end of the training, you will be able to read and comprehend all the basic Japanese sounds. To make you remember each character, you will be put through grueling training. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, what he means to say is you will be given tests that will help you learn each individual character. Of uh, uh, hiragana, I think. Oh, what is hiragana? It is the basic alphabet of Japanese, of course. Sorry if I sound kind of robotic. It's very slow, as you can see. It is the foundation for reading and writing Japanese. Like English, it is used to form words. However, hold on. If we hold this, oh, there we go. You might find something different from your normal alphabet. See the Japanese characters on the gamepad? I do now, actually. It spells Ohayo. Oh, okay. To say it uh, to you in English, it took six letters. But in Japanese, it only took four characters. Yeah, it's weird. If I'm correct, what is it, like about maybe 2,500 characters in the alphabet alone? That's ridiculous. That is because the Japanese language is syllable-based. But we will go over this more in the Japanese alphabet section when you uh, head over to it. Make sure to check out the introduction in there to learn more. Hiragana isn't the only character set of Japanese. Uh, katakana exists too. The same sounds are represented by both character sets. Katakana, however, is used to represent foreign words. Your name, for instance, which would be written in katakana instead of hiragana. While the English alphabet has only 25 characters to learn, learning hiragana and katakana separate uh, together is a total of 92 characters. Wow. Aww. Kenji, you're going to scare this poor, the poor student away. <laughs> it is recommended that you learn hiragana first before moving to katakana. It is a necessary character set for daily Japanese life. And then when you are done with that, you can start with uh, can. <laughs> No need to overload the new student, Kenji. One step at a time. When you're ready, uh, 
feel free. What is it? Sorry. Feel free to move over to the Japanese alphabet section to begin learning. The Romaji, incorrect, and sound memory tests can be done to test your knowledge of hiragana and katakana. But you should do those uh, only uh, uh, after getting a grasp of sounds of the sounds of the language itself. <laughs> we look forward to making you into a hiragana master and a katakana ninja. Okay, so let's now go into the start learning area, Japanese alphabet. Introduction. There's hiragana there and katakana. It is nice to see you. Welcome to the introduction to the Japanese alphabet. Here we, we will give you a brief overview of hiragana and katakana. <laughs> and katakana. Okay, Japanese characters represent sounds. These sounds are likely ones you know already. For instance, this hiragana character is pronounced in the same way as the lowercase a in, in the English alphabet or a. On the right is the uh, Romaji version of the sound, which is a lowercase a. So that'll be... Okay. Romaji is no different from how you already say English letters. Yeah, you really need two screens for this. So, there's text in the bottom. Below are the five vowels of Japanese A, I, U, E, and O. These sounds are an important basis of the Japanese language. So, for example, this character is... So, the sound of lowercase k and a, and put together as the Romaji shows. Is it aka or something? Oh. Key is K, and I sounds uh, put together. Oh, so Kai, sorry, not Key, Kai. Look on screen. A lot of uh, consonants is it? Uh, have all vowel versions, save for a couple, uh, a couple of them. You will see once you begin studying each character, when you go to the uh, hiragana or katakana sections, the learning cards will be organized. Uh, consonants will be in their own rows, organized by vowel. There's N, but you'll find about, uh, uh, about that later. This is all well and good for reading Japanese, but you still need to uh, write as well as read it. You will not be writing any sentences or vocabulary just yet. But you must know how to write the basic characters. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, in Japanese, how you write the character is important. It's like in the English alphabet. When you are studying each character, get out some paper and a pencil. Then proceed to practice writing each character in the stroke order you see ten times. This will help you remember not only the way you write it, but help you remember the character itself. <laughs> Study five Japanese characters a day, or ten, whatever you are comfortable with. It is uh, suggested that you stick to hiragana until you can comfortably read and write it. Then move on to katakana. Katakana has different symbols for writing it, but saying them is exactly the same as in hiragana. This is why it is pre uh, preferable to learn hiragana first. Learn so much today. <laughs> it is recommended you uh, learn an entire consonant group together during the study, uh, same study session. For instance, learn all the, the, uh, the K's, it'll, or K's, whatever, it will assist you in memorizing them. <laughs> Speaking it is just as important as writing and reading too. Try not to say the sound for too long or else you risk saying something entirely different. Saying a sound longer than normal is actually part of uh, <laughs> Japanese, but you will not learn about it until you get to vocabulary. Oh crap, sorry. We shall be able to library, uh, go to the library and get a book get a book on Japanese and start learning words alongside us. This game, tell me, this game is absolutely perfect for you. Because I do know you know some Japanese and you can record two screens. So this the game is absolutely perfect for you. Never stop practicing, even with your video game console off. Hold on a sec. I'm going to contact Finger Game Guns now. Text. Give Tillman a, c 
code. Yes, I am saying this in my video. LOL. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> when you're confident enough, you can go to the test sections. They will have lessons to each challenge your knowledge of Hiragana and Katakana. The lessons are broken up into each... How about we just go ahead? Let's, let's skip. Come on. Yeah, let's skip. Let's go to Hiragana. Why the hell not? <laughs> touch a card, let's see, on the bottom screen. Touch a card to bring up its details. Use L to scroll, or touch to continue. One sec. Ah. So this is ah. Sorry, I can't hear it. E. E. Okay, so it's a pity you can't actually see this. Like you really didn't need two screens for this. A E U E E E O O K K So if I said O K, <laughs> that'd be O, o kind of okay. Ki Ki Ku Ku Ke Ke Ko. Ko? Sa. Sa? She. She? Okay, there's uh, that wee girl is lighting up on the screen here. Hold on. <laughs> the hiragana, something there, is the only S constant uh, that is said with sh. Sorry if it's loud, it's hard to hear. So. Se. Se. So I'm guessing this is so. So. Yeah. Ta. Ta. Chi. Chi. Kya. Kya. Okay, let's go into the hard ones. This is Q, is it? Q. Q, is it? Q. Kyo. Kyo. K-Y-O. This is Sha. Sha. Shu. Shu. Sha. Sho. Cha. Cha. <laughs> Let's go into a katakana. Uh, let's go to hard stuff. Kya. Kya. Q. 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 Kyo. Yeah. Ria. Ria. Ryu. Ryu. Like Ryu, the Street Fighter character, I think. A gyoza. Gyo. 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 Alright, I'm not bad at this. <laughs> is, it, is this ya or ja? Ja. Ja, okay. Bia. Bia. Pew. Pew. 
God, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Like, how do people remember this? I know, like, you're, you're learning stuff, like, you know, English for the first time, for talk's sake. For myself, you know, you learn the alphabet, the 26 letters. But, I mean, reading this, P-Y-U, P-U, it doesn't even look like the, you know, how you kind of pronounce it, you know, in English terms. Let's exit. Here we have a sound game. Let's try this. Why not? Proceed to lesson one. Touch the sound icon to play a Japanese sound. Cut across the matching Japanese character with your finger. Oh, lovely. This is going to be fun. Oh, okay, so it looks like is it the second one? No, the first one. Ah. Uh. Uh. Okay, first one. E. E. Oh, I got it right. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Literally. I got it right. O. O. Oh, middle one. Eh. Okay, let's go back. Uh, yeah, I think this is coming to 3DS as well. So when I, I do get this, I'll I will put this up online. But uh, thanks for watching. It's just I guess a quick enough video. It is kind of hard. I know it's my first time doing this with this playing this game, but it is kind of hard to explain stuff and. Like, you really have to see this for yourself. It's one of those games. It's like the same thing with uh, Three Souls. I know I use two cameras. Well, sorry. Uh, one camera for the gamepad and one for the, just one for the TV, a capture card. But it's the exact same situation here. For anyone who wants to record this, you, you will need two screens to play this, of course. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. You can check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And for more Nintendo. And... Nindy Games, keep it right here. Thanks for watching. And as always, guys, sayonara.